Get back up. What about there. Seattle? How about Seattle with that uh, chop? You know what the chop is? Uh-uh. Oh, oh, Jimmy, it's crazy. Six what? blocks. Six blocks. These people took over. They, they, the protesters. protesters. Yeah. Six blocks. Six yeah. blocks. Chop. And now, <laughs> and now they got these murders. Right. And you know why? They took over six and blocks. This, Where are the cops? The, the cops. The, the, mayor, not, the mayor said it's yours. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, we can't have anarchy. We, yeah. uh, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. We got some rubber bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen a rubber bullet? What a rubber bullet can oh. do? Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's yeah. not about Black Lives Matter. It's these anarchists taking over six that are, blocks. Th- yeah. That are using the guise of a movement to to, to have because they 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 they, they, they want us out. I went down the street. Why do you think they want to tear down t- uh, tear down statues of Abe Lincoln? Lincoln, Washington. Lincoln. Yes, I went down Lincoln. the street the other day and I saw it was like four people. St- I mean, it was probably a week ago. I was like, uh-huh. are they still standing in the street? <laughs> These people were standing. They were all white people, but I was like, yeah, what are they doing? And here's the thing too, with your quote unquote white guilt, what are you doing? Just be a like, person. Like I said, what you got white guilt for? Man. You didn't own no slaves. Uh, right, true th- story. <laughs> London and I were jogging in the neighborhood. Okay. So our subdivision is section 25 now in Farmington. You should be one too. We were jogging, and people jogging the driveway. And even in department stores yeah. and places I've been, Everyone, uh, the, the, I mean, having like, to say hello. Hey, how you doing? I mean, waving like right. I, I don't even know these people. I was like, <laughs> right. And then it dawned on me. I was like, oh, oh, because I'm oh. black. Seriously, it it was like is I'm that, used to is it. Is that more insulting though? I mean, it's, you, it's almost you're, comical. You're, you're, but a, I did. you're a you're a popular guy though. People know who you are. But it was different because if you know me, you know me uh-huh. and you speak. But people backing up their driveway, driving by, like, yeah, how did <laughs> I feel better about myself? Yeah. I waved to a black man. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the, it was that's at, crazy. It, it, we were in uh, Nordstrom's and I was in the bathroom and got, hey, how you doing? Talking yeah. me up, I'm like, and then it dawned on me. I said, oh, and, and you know what's weird, Jimmy? Jimmy, I talk to everybody. I don't yeah. care who. Yeah, yeah. You know, sure. I'm a talker, mm-hmm. right? And I do it all the time, and I'm doing it at Kroger, and I'm talking to. to a black kid next to me that's at the self checkout line, right. and he's giving me the look. He thinks I'm doing it out of guilt. Right. Where that's my normal routine. Yeah, you should tell him, say, look here. Look here, soul <laughs> brother. You're ruining it for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that guy, I'm telling you're you. You're ruining it. People were waving like we were just got the Macy Day parade. Uh-huh. Hey, 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 black people. <laughs> I said, I said, my daughter's mixed. Uh-huh. They was like, <gasps> uh, two hands, two hands. They was like, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, but in Seattle, Okay, so he, here's the thing. So the, the, the mayor of Seattle gives this six-block radius that includes a police precinct. Oh, no. Yes. And so then the precinct. Oh. Oh. Did they, oh, did, I, they, did they take the stuff out of the precinct? I don't know, bae. They, 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 like, like the evidence room? But here's the thing. <laughs> Here, here's what happens in anarchy. Free. <laughs> it, it's amazing. They protest. They don't want... Borders, they don't want walls built, okay? So basically, they don't want cops, but what do they do? What's the first thing they do? They put up a border around their six blocks, so okay? It had to be a bad part of Seattle, because <laughs> so, who gives up six no, blocks? Uh, Capitol Hill. So you go. That's why it was called uh, uh, Chaz in the beginning, uh, Capitol Hill uh, Autonomous Zone. Now it's called CHOP. It's a night, and the business is in there. Uh, they're, they're suing the mayor now for allowing this to happen. Because their businesses are shot. Oh, I guarantee you. So basically, it was like Alcum City, but without Batman and the Joker. I don't. Gotham. I don't yeah, uh, Gotham. Uh, Alcum City, where they took over Chicago. All the criminal crime lords. They took over Chicago. I missed that episode. Uh, so, <laughs> how long has this been going on? So, okay. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. We're, we're looking at uh, uh, the Seattle Police uh, Chief. Okay, Carmen Best. I'm kind of smitten on her, by the way. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you want to see her? I like to be smitten. All right. So well, now they're having murders. Mm-hmm. Now these people are murdering each other. So, oh, the people in the And chop. guess what they do? They call the cops. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, figure it out. <laughs> right. So is this the mayor? Uh, th- this is, uh, I don't like I the mean, mayor the chief. at all. Oh, I like the chief, chief yeah. The this. chief wants to go back in. The mayor is like, you can't go back in there. That's theirs. Two women or the, a man? Yeah, two woman. women. Uh. And, and not that I'm sexist, but, but, uh, but nonetheless... <laughs> The mayor was first calling it like, oh, it's like a big street party. Block party. Block party. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Here, let's see what the uh, chief of police said, because the chief of police wants to go back in. She wants her. She wants her precinct. Oh, no, there she is. 
<laughs> See, I'm kind of smitten on her. I like a women with power, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. And women in a uniform. So I am smitten. She got her hair did. Yeah. yeah. Chief mm -hmm. Carmen, best. I'll make her Chief Carmen better. <laughs> best. Yeah, no, well. I think it's time. That I looks like Stephen A. Smith in drag. You're ruining it. For me, I'm just saying, babe, does she not like Stephen A? Jimmy, you're. <laughs> Wait a minute. Say she does. Keep you playing. just ruined it for yeah, me. Yeah, Stephen A. <laughs> Intern Shane, where did he go? <laughs> Let me know. What is Shane doing? I feel like an Oreo cookie right now. Where are you, Intern Shane? <laughs> Am I going to get in trouble for that? You, you double stuff. Uh, we'll <laughs> All right, so here, here's, uh, here's her speech. Are you all ready? Yep. Am I good? Brian! All right, first I just want to say good morning, everyone. I want to give you a brief update about what happened in this neighborhood last night. I want to emphasize it's very early in this investigation, and the information we have is still pretty fluid, and our detectives are still working hard on the case. We responded to this neighborhood, the area known as the CHOP, around 3 a.m. It's uh, they call it chop because uh, it was originally a Chaz, but they didn't like it because Chaz was too like you know, hey Chaz, yeah, right? Right, right? Everyone was mocking at the meme, so right, they changed right, right. the name after they chop. got mocked. Yeah. So uh, uh, Capitol Hill uh, organized protest chop. Right. After multiple 911. She does look like Stephen A. Smith. I thought she does. Yeah, that was Stephen A. Damn. LeBron. That's what you say right now. LeBron. Calls about gunfire. When investigators arrived, they found a white Jeep Cherokee riddled a white Jeep Cherokee. Hmm. She said with bullet holes on 12th Avenue between Pike and Pine. We were told that there were two men inside the vehicle and both had been shot. When we got inside the chop, these men were gone. We were told that people who identify themselves as chop medics Transported them. Chop medics. Oh, so they have a medic. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Chop, chop medics. medics. Sure. That's Pookie and Leon. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. The, the guys that stole the band aids. They're the medics. Over he got there. his. What was he in the Boy Scout? He got his badge for, yeah, for yeah. band aids. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> got his medical badge. Right. In a oh. private vehicle to Harborview. Once at the hospital, one of the men, an African American adult male, was pronounced dead. A second male, an Af. Where's the protest? Right. Where's the protest in Chop? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. African American teenager remains ho hospitalized. Our homicide detectives searched for the Jeep and searched the Jeep for evidence, uh, but there wasn't much we could find. The typical things we search for in a case like this or in a shooting like this weren't there, and it is abundantly clear to our detectives people had been in and out of the car after the shooting. Detectives are trying to get information from witnesses. But as has been the case in other crime scenes up in this area, people are not being cooperative with our request for help. The man that died, 19-year-old kid, about to go to college. Did they determine what happened? Yeah. Well, no, uh, investigation on their way. That's what they're investigating right now. But it, it, it's, here's the thing, it, it, it's a free-for-all out there. Th they are the biggest hypocrites, like I said earlier. The first thing they built was a wall. Mm -hmm. Well, they built a beautiful wall. Me. So they actually have a wall. Well, they, they, yeah. the, the barricades. Uh -huh. like, right, did right, you see but, that stuff behind yeah, it? But this city is still in existence. I mean, this little six-block mm -hmm. protest is still going on. Yep. Uh, well, the mayor now is asking them to leave. It's still going on. Yeah. Here's the problem. <laughs> you, She's asking. Yeah. <laughs> when when you would other of your children do something that is bad, do you ask them to stop? London, please stop. And then, <laughs> and then if they don't stop. No, we don't ask. No. You don't have to ask. You just give them that look. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Weak leadership. Yeah. Mm. These cities, and I, I hope America's waking up. Mm -hmm. These cities where all this crap is happening, weak leadership. Never, these people never would have made it in the military. Oh, my God. You don't let a handful of protesters no rioters take a piece of your city because what do they want more more when more, you say you give them more. an inch they, they take, take a mile. mile they give take them a mile. rope they think they're a cowboy and and you're, Murphy's <laughs> you're dealing with you're dealing with spoiled little snots mm -hmm. okay yeah. look at the age demographics you don't see people with jobs 
at these places. Mm -hmm. These people, this is their job, (laughs) is to be a rioter. Yeah. You don't give in. No, not at all. (laughs) Talk to them. If they don't want to listen. You know where this all comes from. What's that? We don't keep score at these games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, everybody get a trophy. Everybody, everybody gets a trophy. Mm-hmm. Everybody wins. Yeah. You matter. No. Mm-hmm. You earned that. Yeah. So I'm not giving you anything. And right? it's been yeah. boiling for three and a half years now because of an election in 2016. Yeah. Because their person didn't win. Right. And oh, oh, we were promised. <laughs> hey, nobody wins all the time. Yeah. You know, it, it's interesting. I was very fortunate. My parents. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, 92, the election of Bill Clinton. Yeah. Uh, my parents were they were they voted for uh, George Herbert Walker Bush. So as a young kid, you, you know, you just go with your parents. Right, right. You know what I mean? And I remember, I remember, I'm a 12 year old kid, uh-huh. and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, ah, damn. Bill Clinton won and, it. Right, and my and my Hillary. mom and dad's like, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Now, let's let's wish them the best. What do we do? We said a prayer. Yeah. We said a prayer. Really? <laughs> right. Yeah. My, oh, my parents were awesome. Yeah. My dad's a tough guy. Yeah. He's tough. So I remember when, uh, I don't know if you lived here then, Don Trotter lost to. I wasn't here at the he time. He lost to Piper. Uh huh. And I mean, people were on suicide watch. <laughs> and for a minute, I lived in Nashville. <laughs> Seriously, they were. I was in Nashville. Uh-huh. I lived in Nashville at the time. And for a minute, I remember I was Ruby Tuesday. I was like, <sighs> I was like, that dude don't really care <laughs> like, about me. I'm like, I'm sorry for you. But I, I was like, for one second, I was like, oh, man. I was like, oh, give me a blue moon. <laughs> and hey, but I'll yeah. tell you what. This election, this coming election, is very important. <laughs> because you look at the leadership who is allowing these yep. 1% yep. of the population to make our rules, to say what we can say, mm-hmm. to say what we can eat, <laughs> to say what we can drink. Yeah. Okay. Who's gonna, it's between Biden and Biden and Trump. <laughs> and let me tell you, first off, this this group is controlling one of the parties uh, yeah. because nobody is saying anything. First off, nobody's what, putting it down. What Biden said was racist to me. What he said, Biden? If you don't vote for me, you're, you're not black. black. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? What? Yeah. He, uh, well, here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so wait until the debates, by the way. Oh my god, it's gonna be funny. He, like, no, no kidding. Oh no, he's he got dementia. Oh no, he uh, ready, he ready for Trump. Oh, was, no, he's he, not. He's dementia. Uh, what I seen today at work while I was working. Uh-huh. Oh no, he's ready for he's Trump. Your, uh, he, he ready. He can't wait yeah. to have the debate. Yeah, yeah. Is what he was that's gonna be that's gonna be live TV. That's gonna be real good TV. Right. That's gonna be fun TV. Yeah. Cause here's the thing. Either way, this coin falls. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a show the next four years. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be. I mean, oh, it's really yeah. gonna. My, and other countries. Here's the deal. Other countries are watching. Mm-hmm. It's just like my saying is this. Mm-hmm. It's bad. What is gonna happen after these four years? You know, the next two people. Well, he, you know what I'm saying? Here, here's, <laughs> here's why this has got to be nipped, okay? Because we can't. Uh, we, the common people with sound minds, yeah. whether you're right or left of the political uh, you know, aisle. I, I call America. We are fed up. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you think Democrats and Republicans that just go to work, Whatever, independents, by the way, are watching all of this and go, I don't want to be, I don't want to be lumped in with that group. <laughs> this is all going to backfire on you guys. You will see. Well, they're making it difficult at this point because the way my dad was, whoever wins after the election's over, this yeah. is my country. I'm going to support it. That's right. But then at a certain point, it's like, <laughs> all right, man, chill out. I want to support you, but uh, yeah, I want to support. Dang, give right. me a break. Give me something to support. Just like and, when, yeah. when we said that prayer, you know, dear Lord, you know, uh, yeah, good buddy. for Bill Clinton, you yeah. know, uh, give him leadership and guidance so this country can, you know, uh, prosper and uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that, so we having a hard time. That's right. That's right. Uh, Hillary, I did not <laughs> have relations. <laughs> I did not inhale. <laughs> right. It was I bet. <laughs> it was gummies. Uh, yeah. C, B, D. Uh, it was My three favorite letters. <laughs> <laughs> Today's yeah. episode. Yeah. All right. But uh, so. Uh, all right. Let's move forward. All right. Let's move forward. You know what? We'll get to uh, the defunding the police. New York is uh, they're taking a billion dollars out of the uh, out of the police department in New York City. And uh, you should see the crime rate. I mean, people in broad daylight are just tackling old women and stealing their purses. Literally. OK, literally. And 
there's someone in New York City that wants even more to be taken out, saying a billion is not enough to be removed from the NYPD. Okay, uh, this that is, is not AOC, the, by the way. This is not the same, but kind of almost in the context uh, when you had, if you have an NBA player do mm-hmm. something that's terrible. Yes. You don't stop the NBA. So if you have cops or people in certain, educate them, mm-hmm. and if you want to change and make any change, they won't defund the police department if you prosecute equally. Right. Like, I mean, if you really do it, not say, oh, have consequences and you won't have to disband. That's the stupidest. Like, you don't just tear down the house because you have one board that's messed up. You fix that problem. Mm-hmm. So the same thing. And you do it to the largest city that the America's oh, in. Well, that's crazy. I mean, you, you take a billion dollars away a from it. A billion them. dollars. What you do is you give a billion dollars more for training. Training and education. Training. Okay. We would, go for our deployments, yeah. okay, in the U.S. Army, you know, Joe Padula served with the 2nd Brigade Combat Team 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. It was an honor, okay? Ooh. Before, <laughs> who, no, who, uh, who, uh, with the who, uh, <laughs> strike. Yeah. And, uh, and before we would go on a deployment, yeah. okay, uh-huh. you're talking about months upon months upon months of training, uh-huh. of focused training. Here's our mission. Here's how we're going to accomplish it day in, day out. Cops, the police academy, how long is it? 90 days, same as cash. Okay. <laughs> Almost. Not that short of time. It needs to be longer. Because a police officer, and this yes. is why I respect them so much, uh-huh. they are on deployment every day. They are on patrol. When we go on patrol, we were out there for a year. Okay, we come back home, we decompress, we raise our glass to our fallen, no doubt. But these cops, man, so much respect. No, you haven't even hit it yet. You, they are on a every day Not even every deployment. Day. A friend and I had this conversation. Okay. If you're a cop and a true cop, you're policing society every day of your life, even off duty. Yeah, yes. That's what I'm saying. So right. it's not even okay. Your shift is over, but you're still in the <laughs> restaurant yep. and yep. you're policing. You know, uh, you're policing. So it never stops. Mm-hmm. That mentality. Uh-huh. You are policing society mm-hmm. every day, every second. I, I couldn't do. You know? I couldn't do it. Oh no. I couldn't uh-huh. do it. <laughs> like right, right. They're always <sighs> policing. Always. Always. Because <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Even like okay, we're off we're, duty. We're in Kandahar, Afghanistan. Okay, we're taking a, a, a break just to eat some crap meal. Right. Yeah, right. Right. But we're still <laughs> on head on a swivel. Exactly. Right. right. So a cop's out with his family. Yep. Somebody walks in, he's policing. You always police in society. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't want that. I mean, it has to get stressful. So cops are always on the line. And Even at the fire department, we do something wrong. Yeah. We're not going to dismantle the whole thing. We'll be like, right. JT, that was jacked up what you did. Nobody's going to be like, turn a blind eye. And that's what it, that brotherhood is a good thing. But a brotherhood to stick with each other to help. You don't have a brotherhood for someone who's doing something wrong. Training. They, they don't understand the meaning of brotherhood. Mm-hmm. We did so much training so we would not shoot civilians, okay, unarmed civilians. Right, right. Like so much training. I get, I bet. And we would get hemmed up if we if we shot that cardboard. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. It, but we would do it and do it and do it until until it was almost perfect. Yeah. Almost. It could never be always perfect. No. But almost perfect. And look at this, 49% of NYPD officers, oh, I'm sorry, a 49% spike in NYPD officers filing for retirement. Oh, that, yeah. that one out. Yeah. And that's across the country. That's and across the country. But you know what happens there? If you have a 49% spike, guess what you have then? An influx of inexperienced rookie yes. you know, cops. The, you, know? you lose your leadership. Yep. And who grew up, but who don't know the difference, who mm-hmm. then time out. Mm-hmm. You don't have any yep. rules. This yep. and that's now yep. it's policing now. So you yep. think you have? <laughs> you ain't. Yeah, been disciplined. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. We are gonna see numbers that surpass in New York crime numbers that surpass the 1970s. Yeah, and that's a damn shame because that was a beautiful city. But again, it falls on leadership. Look who is running all of these cities. Like I've been saying, who you vote for is very important. Look at our leadership here. Pits. We don't see we don't see all this crap no. happening here in Clarksville, no, Montgomery we, County. We we have strong leadership who knows how to listen and knows how to talk. A man's man. Right. Or a Jim woman's Dorf. woman. It doesn't well, matter. Saying, right, but right. a man's man. Just yeah. to say because we have two men. Right. Mayor Pitts. Mm-hmm. Mayor Dewart. I know. Yeah. And, and they get a lot of crap from people. You know why? 
uninformed people yeah. who don't actually have to sit down and talk yeah. with them. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. We know who you are. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move forward. <sighs> Leadership. Boom, boom, boom. It's a big year. Stop electing these. <laughs> it's going to be entertaining. These when are the debates, babe? When do the debates start? Uh, uh, debates start? Uh, that's a good point. Where did intern Shane go? Is he okay? He might be asleep. No, I am. <laughs> intern Shane, are you all right? Come on, cotton balls. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he at? Where is he? Uh, Alexa, <coughs> when do the debates begin? <coughs> Presidential. Here's something I found on the web. According to CNN.com, the first of four debates, three presidential and one vice presidential, in the final month of the election takes place October 3rd in Denver. October 3rd. Uh, October 3rd. Okay, Thank October 3rd. Yeah. What are you coughing on? Corona. Yeah, are you? <laughs> hey, I got the test the other day. Yeah. Wasn't bad at all. Yeah. You know, people put that stigma like, you know, they have to go through and puncture yeah, your brain. Yeah, yeah. So total I'm recall. I'm over like, <gasps> yeah, I was just a little. Yeah. It was kind of like. You know uh, why? People are weak. Yeah, it wasn't that. P- people are weak. All right, let's move forward here. Let, let's go over some local stuff, okay? Like, uh, uh, which U.S. state That's good. just put <laughs> Tennessee on a travel ban? Yeah, oh, yeah, I like those, oh, those seltzers. I know that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, are homeowners in Nashville going to leave the Music City now that their property taxes have just increased 34%? Come on to Clarksville. Come on up. <laughs> Jimmy Come Terry. on up, y'all. Jimmy Terry, since you're talking about Platinum. Shelly Holiday. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which business in Clarksville is about to hire 900 new employees? And see, look, what, look what's Clarksville happening. Clarksville Police Department. People are coming here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, speaking of which, who is the new uh, chief of police in the Queen City? Well, we'll go over it all. All right. And uh, I also want to get into... Uh, some of the your routines as a as a as a, as a member of fire a Clarksville fire rescue fire departments putting in applications they're uh, starting a hiring oh uh, yep that's well, coming as well let's get into that yep that's all next on the Joe Padula show absolutely.